The character of our God is a man almost religiously dedicated to the dictates of his doctor. His brother, Baral, creates a disturbance when he suggests that the man's apothecary come back at perhaps some other time to administer the enema which the doctor has prescribed. <laughs> Argon is horrified that his brother should so carelessly risk medical excommunication by offending so the doctor, and scandalize when his brother should quote none other than the wicked Moliere on such a topic. You are Moliere's a disrespectful rogue, and he might think it suits the current vogue to ridicule our doctors in a play. It's not the doctors he mocks, but the way they hold up medicine in such regard. Oh, I suppose he thinks he's quite the bard to ridicule prescriptions, consultations, attack our great professionals and patients, the finest thinkers of our current age, by putting these fine men upon the stage. <laughs> Were I a doctor, I'd retaliate. And when the wretch fell ill, I'd sit and wait, and wouldn't lift a finger in his aid, no matter how he begged, beseeched, or prayed. And when he came before me with his pleading, I'd give him neither enema nor bleeding. I'd tell him, die, you libertine, you cad. Go to the devil, and we'll all be glad that ought to teach you to make fun of us. <laughs> Seems to have you quite a bit nonplussed. <laughs> and a stupid clown. And I would pray the doctors do exactly as I say. The worst for him if he gets a disease and has no access to our remedies. What stupid, foolish arguments are these? Look, let's not talk of him. The man is vile. The very thought of him brings up my bile. <laughs> <laughs> 